Hello everybody! In today's video I'll show you how to replace a fuel pump electrical unit and thus rebuild a fuel pump assembly. It will help you save at least $100 since the fuel pump itself costs much cheaper than the whole fuel pump assembly. In the second part of this video I have added some tips on this topic that can be helpful in case of emergency. In fact, this video is a sequel to my earlier manual how to replace the fuel pump of Jaguar X-Type without dropping the fuel tank. You know that Jaguar X-Type shares the same floor pan with the second generation of Ford Mondeo, so these two videos may be of equal interest to the owners of both front-wheel drive Jaguar X-Type and Ford Mondeo MK3. So let's begin. You see, I begin with removing the fuel level sender unit, undoing a clip in the lower part of it, which let me open the housing cover. I had to press on all the tabs securing it one by one and pull the upper part of the housing a bit up, so that the tabs remained in a pressed position. After that, I could easily open the fuel pump assembly. You see, it's quite clean inside. I unplugged the fuel pump connector and removed the pump unit from where it sits. It has got two rubber parts that secure it in its place. One part near the strainer and the rubber collar on the upper end of it. I removed them both and torn off the fuel strainer together with the washer clip. Here you see the OEM number of the Jaguar X-Type fuel pump. You'll hardly find a fuel pump unit with exactly the same OEM number closer than somewhere in Australia. So it's up to you what unit you'll install in your car. I'll just give you some details how to physically do it. So, first of all, I attach the strainer together with the lower rubber part. After that, the washer clip should be put in its place. Better do it with some pipe of an appropriate diameter. After that, I took a rubber collar and slided it over the fuel pump. I inserted the pump where it belongs, I closed the assembly lid, pressing it until all the tabs clipped and the only thing to do was to plug in the connector and install the sender unit in its place, that is, the fuel pump was ready for operations. And in the second part of this video, as I have already mentioned in the beginning, I'll talk about the symptoms of a failed fuel pump and some emergency methods of fixing fuel pump issues. So, if you notice that the engine runs poorly, it loses power from time to time until it shuts down completely, as if you had run out of fuel, it looks like a fuel pump failure. When you turn on the ignition, there should be a winning noise coming from under the back seat. So, if there is no winning noise on the silence, it means that there is either an electrical circuit or a mechanical fuel pump issue. By the way, you can see the backseat removal manual in the first video about the fuel pump replacement without dropping the fuel tank. In case you've got a multimeter, you can easily check if the wire carries power to the fuel pump when the ignition is open. But let's suppose we haven't got a multimeter. I'll show you how I made a simple tester out of a piece of wire I found in my bag. I had to find some bulb to check the current flow in a fuel pump wire and I chose the best available option to remove the trunk light and supply it with two pieces of wire. I inserted a piece of wire into the hole of each connector terminal of the trunk light and screwed it tightly to avoid a short circuit. Surely, after the fuel pump wiring was tested, 
I return the trunk light to where it belongs. First of all, I want to warn you that all the electrical experiments should be done with the fuel tank closed. Gas vapors are highly flammable and any minor spark near the open tank may cause fatal consequences. After that, I move to the fuel pump connector. You see, there are four wires coming to the connector. Two thick outer ones, in my case green and black, delivering power to the fuel pump, while the thin inners are the circuit of the fuel level center sensor. So I connected my tester to the thick ones, taking care that the wires don't touch the car body so that to avoid a short circuit. After that I turned the ignition switch on and checked if the light lit for about 3 seconds. It means that the electrics is ok and the fuel pump is faulty. Once again, be careful and don't do any electrical testings with the fuel tank open. Are you still here watching my video? Ok, I'll give you one more tip that can work in case of utmost necessity. They say that sometimes and only once you can knock slightly on a failed fuel pump and thus you may bring it back to life. But keep in mind that this life will not last long. Just about half an hour of a careful driving you may even try to knock on the fuel tank, if you know where the fuel pump sits. Just be careful and do not punch a hole in your tank.